Welcome to the Brooklyn Bagel Blog. I'm the Bagel Borg, a finely tuned, highly calibrated bagel eating machine here to review every bagel in the universe. Today we're at Davidovich Bakery in the Essex Street Market in the Lower East Side. They are the only wholesale bagel shop that still is artisanally crafted bagels. That means handcrafted, they don't use any machines whatsoever. It's not really a bagel shop, it's a little bagel kiosk. I can't hate. That's very enterprising of the owners. You know, they're in the wholesale business, but they know that they can make those margins in retail. So they open up this little shop, probably pay no rent, but they get their product into the hands of people, such as myself. The Everything Bagel with Sky and Cream Cheese. Let's go for the big reveal. Yep, double-sided toppings. People ask me all the time, Bagel board, why are double-sided toppings important? Well, I'll tell you why. For people who slice their bagels in half and eat them open-faced, you want toppings on both sides. If you only have single side, then you're only gonna get half your bagel with the toppings on it and the other half plain. Nobody wants that. As far as the toppings themselves, these are heavy on the caraway seeds. I'm not a fan of the caraway seeds, so we're gonna see about this. The bagel at first glance doesn't have that crisp uh, outer texture that I would expect. And to be quite frank, I'm not sure how fresh these bagels could be if they're not baking them on site. Bagel to cream cheese ratio is very light. We have an even cut here. This is a little... What is this? Is this plastic? Unidentified chocolate. Oh, on the area. I don't know if I like that. Let me calculate the score. As I expected, this isn't a top tier fresh bagel. This tastes a little bit like a bodegal. Doesn't have that crunch that, that you want. Doesn't have the freshness that you want. The cream cheese is a bit thick. There's no melt factor going on here. I'll give this a 2.46769. It's okay. Much respect for still handcrafting your bagels from scratch, especially at the wholesale level. But stick to wholesale. If you're gonna do retail, you gotta do it right. And you're not doing it right if you're not making your bagels on site. And if you're not making your bagels on site, then I'm gonna have to say good night. Boom, you're done. That is how the bagels boiled.